Hai yang nan chen des being picky. Not them. They're too hungry for attention. In this video, I'm going to tell you why and how you should be selecting your target audience. I'm going to tell you a little story about me and then I'm going to tell you how this relates to your own business. So I'm pretty expert in being positive. I am so freaking positive and a lot of people who see me like behaving and facing things do tell me you're fantastic, you're awesome, how do you do that? And since my mom is a little bit depressed, what I was trying to do is to give her a little advice about positive thinking. But thing is that I'm just her stupid kid, so she teaches me stuff. I'm the one who needs to be taught something, not the right opposite. Before being a freelancer, I used to work with my cousin. And once I remember drawing some kind of scheme and he looked at it and said, wow, that's nice, it's very clear. Where did you get it? And I said, I designed it. You know what I said? Oh, so it must be wrong. It was clear and beautiful when he thought it was from someone else, but finding out that it was my stuff, I must be wrong. It doesn't make sense, I know. But even in that case, I, I was and I still am, and I will always be the stupid little cousin. I'm the one who screws up. I will always be the little stupid kid for my mom, and I will always be the stupid little cousin to my cousin so they can't possibly be my audience because they will not accept anything from me and that's the same thing with your target audience doesn't matter how good your idea is but if you represent something that your target audience sees as something that should not be given advice they will not listen to you so trying to market to them is a total waste of time believe me you will never ever ever change their mind. They have that idea, they have that bias, and so you can't change that. So you should just change your target audience, seriously. Because brand is actually something you do not decide. You can't influence it, you can try to make it look like that, but in the end, the audience is deciding. So if they decide that you're not what you want to be, you will never be what you want to be. It doesn't work like that. Being there, done that, doesn't work. Not even social proof. I could bring to my mom everyone saying that I'm so great and how do I do that, I'm brilliant and stuff. But she will never believe that because her brain is telling a different story. Yeah, that's about storytelling. For my mom, the story is that she's the mom and I'm the kid, period. And it will never change. Same thing goes for my cousin. And that's about choosing the right marketing audience. You cannot marketing to those who believe that you cannot be what you say you are, period. But keep calm, because there's a lot of people out there, so if it's not those thousand people, there's gonna be another thousand people believing that you are what you're saying you are. So keep calm and carry on, you're going to convince someone else. The important thing is to be persuasive. And those who do not have that kind of bias will believe you and trust you and buy from you. If you choose the wrong target audience and you waste a lot of resources and money and time and energies on the wrong target audience, guess what? You'll be too tired to focus on the right target audience. So choose wisely your target audience and be as specific as you can be because you want the right people to listen to you, not random people. You can persuade them that your product or service is the right stuff to buy. That's what marketing is all about. Convincing people that what you have to sell is what they need in their life to make their life better. That's it. Like the video, subscribe to my channel for more tips and let's make everyone love your business as much as you do. Thanks for watching and see you next time with a new quick marketing tip and if you want my freebies, Subscribe to my Facebook Messenger chatbot, find the link in the description below.